Hi guys. Um, so I wanted to try something new. I thought it would be nice to do two of the things that calm me down the most at the same time. Uh, one of those is doing my makeup and the other one is reading, especially reading poetry. I'm going to be reviewing Trauma Head by Ellie Kralchi Gardiner. I'm going to be putting on some makeup today and I'm going to be talking about a book of poetry that I loved. Um, you can find my review of it on the Ottawa Review of Books website and we're going to get to that. I'm going to start with my primer. It's a Bare Minerals Blemish Primer and then the I might the eye makeup primer smashbox 24 hour photo finish let's talk a bit about trauma head so trauma head was written after the poet ellie kralji gardiner she had a mini stroke in september of 2012 it's told in three different chapters the first one tunica intima is the main part of the poem and it covers most of the book the second part is the trauma head file it embeds little poems into the file. So I'm not sure if you can see some of the erasure that's gone on in this one. Little tiny printed poems here. The last chapter is the prognosis chapter. So this is a prose poem, basically looking back on the year with, with the brain injury. Really cool book, it's super innovative. All of the playing around with form actually contributed to the idea of this brain dysfunctioning and then also the fact that it's being monitored and measured by the medical community at the same time as she's experiencing it in her own body. Really cool. Okay, I've been in my house now for eight days. This is the eighth day that I have not left my apartment. And that's why I'm doing this stuff. But I've also found it really difficult to stay focused. Um, okay, so I am going to blend this. I'm gonna dip it in some water because you wanna blend damp. I'm gonna take a new Kleenex. I'm just gonna squeeze it to get out the excess water. This is a Jane Airedale Glow Time BB Cream. So now I'm going to do my eyes. Sometimes I'll do the rest of my skincare before my eyes if I'm doing like a really, really quick look just because it's faster that way. But if I actually want to do a good job on my makeup, I start with my eyes first because that way I can contour and um, and just go for a cleaner look afterwards, especially if I'm wearing more makeup on my eyes. I'm going to start with a base. I want to do a base that's close enough to my own skin color. Tartlet in Bloom. The great thing about these palettes is that they smell like yummy things. This one smells like cookies. So I'm just putting a bit of this flower child on the bottom. I'm going to switch this over and go for the lighter shade, the Charmer, on top. And that will help set my primer. She had a mini stroke and then afterwards they discovered a tear, they being the medical um, care that she was getting, discovered a tear in the lining of an artery in her neck that led to her brain. Um, this lining is called the tunica intima, which is the first chapter, the name of the first chapter of the poem. Um, and this tear is known clinically as vertebral artery dissection. All the vessels open to cells, the matrices, the unities, dawn written inside my eyelids. Fogged breath, breathing fog, coyote swirl and still of owl. All the vesicles surge, surf, miles of internal roads. Oh, adrenaline, my intimate. Oh, endorphin, biologic morphine. I love it. <laughs> so we're going to build up, build up my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take this momentum. 
this one right here has a bit of orange to it, but it's kind of like a beige. I'm gonna do an orange today. So that's this Utopia. I'm taking this from Huda Beauty's Mercury, Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde. I have this crease brush. You can see it's tapered. I am going to go over with this one that's a little bit in the darker orange range called Karma and just sort of outline inward. And you can always go back and make it nicer after, but you have to start somewhere the same way I feel about painting and writing. I'm gonna take this slightly smaller brush. I'm gonna use hot mess to build up the color in the corners. All right, let's build up these eyebrows. So what's going on up there? So I'm going to start with a very small tapered brush if I can find it right here. I'm gonna go back to my tartelette. I'm gonna use this taupey jet setter. And I'm just gonna fill in. Uh, normally I just fill in the first sort of the upwards arch of the brow and not the down because I don't want that to be too heavy. This is the Anastasia Perfect Eyebrow Pencil. It is no longer perfect. It used to have the wand on the other end. That fell off. I'm just going to kind of lightly trace an outline. I like to do like a bit above, just give those a bit more of like a brow lift. So I normally go a little bit above my natural hairline. I'm back to Trump head. In, tear, im, in the E room, in, terminable, I'm, a, lone, I, solated, solo, appearance, Robert fills the door. The scent of his neck carries mud honey calm. He scrutinizes, reconciles. She fainted with what he sees, hears, so normal. Exercise clothes, ruffled ponytail, an ability, a joke. Cheeks roughed pink, did not faint. The stain in the glass is darker. Taint is swirling. Nothing is settled. Give me your hand, I pant. He sits, starboard side, where he cannot see. My lines are cut, and vessels are drifting to wreckage. Wow. I'm going to do my lower lids as well. I'm going to use Crash for the lower lids right there. Anastasia's contour kit, the contour cream kit, the fair one. I'm just gonna go in and create some brightness. And then I'm gonna go and do this with my I don't always do this. Usually it's just if I'm going out that I'll put this around my eyebrows. But whatever. So this is what 
this is just going in and cleaning up all of that shape issue. I'm just giving myself a shape here. And then I might go back over with my pencil. And I'm gonna take this guy. I'm going to go back in with my Tarte with a brush specifically for these darker parts. I'm going to wet the brush so it has a darker pigment. I'm doing Activist. This is literally the thing that I do when I'm freaking out about something it's like if I can just sit in front of a mirror for however long it takes 40 minutes an hour the more stressed I am the longer I will take on purpose and I will end up with a fully painted face of makeup um, but it helps me Okay, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever pencil. It's kind of a reddish brown. Um, I use a lot of pinks and purples and browns in my makeup and orange. Orange looks good with blue eyes. And um, because I have such fair skin, I often go with a lighter color than just like a black for some things. This is a lighter color than the shadow I put on, but that's okay. I'm going to go over with an even lighter color. Sometimes it's good to start a smoky eye with the darkest color so that it blends out more smoothly. So that you're not finishing with harsh lines at the end. And today I'm even going to go underneath. I don't always do this. I'm gonna go right along my lash line. Hmm. Okay. Now I need to blend all of that. It really needs to be blended. So I'm gonna go back in with my crease brush. I'm gonna use this one, Rebel. In Trauma Head, the natural and everyday world enters into the poet's peripheries as though the environment is seeking to impress upon her, but her perspective is occupied by her own brain, her own uh, brain dysfunctioning in her own body. So that sense of the outside natural world is very disjointed and it's very much at a distance. But as the poetry collection goes further in, those outside realities start to resemble an actual coherent narrative. And we're starting to see more of her experiences going to yoga, to the beach, visits with her mother, um, just social interactions. But I thought it really was that treatment of incoherence, of making us feel like we're reading through incoherence while still fully understanding everything. It's not it's not a difficult or inaccessible read. It's a read that makes the incoherence of the poet's experience actually very accessible. And I think that's a really difficult thing to do. So, well done. You guys should read it. I'm gonna go back in and blend this out. So I'm going to go under my lash line with this Libra, This it's like a light purple. And see how that goes. It's not exactly what I want, it's kind of erasing that line for me. I sort of want to build that back up. So I'll go in with the ultraviolet, which is really beautiful purple color. 
very sparkly. I'm gonna go back over with the orange that I had. And I'm gonna put some sparkles on here. I'm gonna try frazzled. Frazzled looks fun. It's this one right here. So I'm keeping with that orange and purple theme. I'm just gonna go back over. Okay, and once again, we're gonna highlight a little bit. I'll take this white. I'll highlight the brow. So these are all just the same if I was painting a portrait. You just want to highlight the inner eye. Perks you up, makes you look less tired. We're getting there. liquid eyeliner. It's quite old and I'm not going to name the person because I don't agree with their politics and I know which eyeliner I'm going to buy after this. It's going to be the Stila liquid eyeliner. Um, so this is just an unnamed liquid eyeliner by, ironically, this week, someone who doesn't believe in vaccines. Through all of my 20s, I I always wear liquid eyeliner. Now that I'm older, it's actually a little harder to do because I have more loose skin around my eyes. My skin used to be like, I don't know, pulled back. <laughs> I don't know how these YouTubers do it. I need a mirror for this. Okay, so now I still have my skin to do. I have red skin. I've always had problem skin. You can see I still have a pimple right there. And so I am going to use Cover FX's concealer in P Light 2. And then for other parts of my face, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Creamy Catalana. Just along my jawline. But slightly above it. And under my cheekbone. This is the NARS concealer. Okay, on my nose. The Anastasia Contour Kit. We're just painting that right in there. A little bit under my lip, which will make my bottom lip look a little bit bigger. And I have a wide job like a wide chin so I like to just kind of create the illusion that it is smaller than it is by just bringing up this contour while well, I'm looking like this why not read some of Gardner's poetry. A tunica intima, the innermost lining, and behind the diagnosis of a rent in the veil is a deeper plot, sleeper cells, thicker and thicker upon themselves in a viscid nest. Oh, this was, this was such a cool uh, 
poem or part of the poem. This page, 104, is talking about pain and the effects of pain. And you have all these lines basically abrading themselves, coming up into contact with each other. She's talking about pain abrading and of polishing this sort of geological idea. And I thought that it was pretty wonderful that this was happening on the page as well with the words. I'm going to, I'm gonna dip this in water. You need it nice and nice and damp. Listen to this line from Ellie. Vocabulary, halls, antenna higher, verbs, n, either serve, or, n, or appreciate my hard work selecting them. She also says in this collection at one point in one of the poems, complicated names are better than none. And as someone who has been pretty deeply in the medical um, system because of my own disorder over the past 11 years, I can jump, I can, I can relate to that. Sometimes you just need a code or a clue to be able to go off and, and find your own meaning for it. So a complicated name, which is usually the type that doctors are ready to give to things, it's at least a starting point, And then you can make your own journey from there. London. Now I've got a Jane Airedale it's almost done. I'm just gonna apply this. I love it when poets bring in their their love and their knowledge of language. Sorry, this is a bronzer also from Jane Airedale. The distance between myself, a typography of a kerning between riv, riven, such hurried and violent rush. Yeah, okay, I need to blend that. All right, um, I'm doing kind of a bright eye with the purple and the orange, so I'm not going to go for a crazy pink blush. Um, let's see, I'm gonna use an Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna use the one that's the most orange. And I'm gonna go high up on my cheekbone, just to kind of lift, get that lifted look. The Jane Airedale nude lip liner that I always have, I use it. I use it most days. I'm gonna go in gently here. The final part of the book, it's basically a looking back and a recognizing that going through something like this, you will always be someone different afterwards. A friend writes about a fig torn open Honeyed drop at the stem, split skin, heaviness of tender velvet flesh, describes the beard of mold this sad fig wore. Her sentences flicker in my head with a curious feeling of pleasure. I turn back to the text, perplexed. I think that's a good way to look at the, the entire text itself as a looking back with perplexity of what this experience was. Um, the poet knows how it happened, has the medical, you know, the medical files and, and everything. But it's just interesting to be looking back at, at this and to try and just to imagine her trying to recreate this experience and coming to it with a sort of perplexity and humility to something that, that must have been very difficult to explain and, um, and yet she's 
just such a fantastic job of that. All right, I'm gonna go for a dark lip because why not? It's party time. Not really, but on my face. Ah, here we go. Enter the disruption. Tears the blood of the form. Enter the disruption. Petals of the many-sided tree and inside corners arise from tears that occur in the broken layer, allowing blood under flatline pressure to enter the wall of the vessel and form a tinted glass. Disruption of the jelly roll can activate maps and the cornered cascade leading to wall formation and bright silver. Enter the disruption. Wives of the orange and colorful people arise from tears that occur in the disquiet layer, allowing blood under substantial pressure to enter the wall of the vessel and form blissful sleep. Disruption of the water can activate children and the radiant cascade leading to swan formation and silky rain. Enter the disruption. Horses of the Finnish hereditary, heredity and fluorescent. Dendrites arise from tears that occur in the delicate layer, allowing blood under indelicate pressure to enter the wall of the vessel and form a Flemish candor. Disruption of the heiress can activate horrors and the worst cascade leading to source formation and feverish hordes. It's topical. Mascara. By the way, let me say I love you guys. This whole poetry community that we're a part of, I think everyone's doing a really great job, you know, a great job to make us feel like we're not alone. I almost forgot. Highlighter. Highlighter for the cheek. This is the Glossier highlighter in quartz. Follow my cheekbone. And I will need to blend this out too. I think we're all trying to do our best to flatten this curve so we can keep hospital beds open for people when they need them. Jacob and I first got sick he got sick last Wednesday morning. He called into sick to work. And then that night at around 8.30, 9 o'clock, I checked his temperature and it had gone up um, quite a bit. So I, uh, I went out and got him some Advil and Tylenol and tea and stuff. Came home, gave that to him. Called his mom, who's a nurse. After I took care of him, I checked my temperature to have a baseline just in case I got sick and realized I actually had a very low grade fever as well. For me, the the fe it doesn't it doesn't match. You have to have I think thirty. There's a certain threshold that they're counting as a fever. I didn't have that, but I have a low body temperature, so I don't play around with that stuff. Usually, my fevers seem to start a little bit lower for me. So yeah, we have not been out of the house. And you know what? I've never done something like this before. So there you go. We can get creative if you want. If you have days where you literally can't do anything because you're anxious or worried or it's just like you need a schedule. Oh my gosh, I had those days too in the past week. And don't feel guilty about it. All right, that's my look. And this is the book. This book was just fantastic, especially for anyone who's dealt with chronic pain or uh, disability. 
invisible disability or brain disorders, even if you haven't, if you love language and if you like to look at language on a micro scale, take it apart, put it back together, I absolutely recommend this book. It was just a fantastic account of not only resilience, but also the mind-body or brain-body connection.